Hey everyone, so Tara here, and I want to share with you a tip that hopefully will make your grocery shopping trip a lot easier and more simple as you're making healthy decisions. And that's simply to look at the ingredient list and what you're looking at. You know, sometimes we think we gotta understand all the stuff that's on the label. Ah, gosh, there's a lot of crap on there, right? I don't know, in my opinion. And the other thing is, what, like, for example, is the fat. The fat of one product might mean something totally different. Like 16 grams of fat with peanut butter means something completely different than 16 grams of fat with a bag of chips, right? Healthy versus unhealthy fat. So a lot of the times I don't pay a tremendous amount of ten attention to this. Most of my attention goes to the ingredient list. All right, so for example, Happy went to the store and he brought home natural Jif peanut butter, says low sodium, says natural, sounds awesome, right? Now, if you look at the ingredient list on it, the ingredients are peanuts, cool, awesome, that's what we're hoping for from peanut butter, uh, sugar, palm oil, salt, and molasses. Now, I wanna make sure that I know all of the ingredients on the list. Also, I wanna make sure that there wasn't a lot of work that went into processing those ingredients because that means that my body has to do a whole lot of extra work and stress to digest those ingredients. So for example, sugar, a lot of work goes into like refining that sugar and processing it. And so that means that my body's gonna go, oh crap, all right, I gotta do a lot of extra work. And that's not extra work as in burning calories. It's a lot of stress on the system, okay? So it's unnecessary, right? You don't need palm oil, hello? Peanuts are fatty, like they've got their own fat in them. What are you doing? Adding stuff to it. Salt, molasses, okay? Here's another one, this is Trader Joe's. Ingredients, dry roasted peanuts. That's it, that's all that's in there. And honestly, it tastes the same to me. The biggest difference between the two is I have to stir this one and I don't for this. But a little bit of stirring on my part versus a whole lot of stuff and strain on my body, it's like night and day, and for, as far as I'm concerned. Plus, this is uh, non-GMO, so it's not genetically modified. That usually stuff at Trader Joe's, if it has the Trader Joe's brand, it's not genetically modified. In other words, a lot of um, modifications haven't been made to the actual like seeds and all that stuff that your body's going to have to think a lot to process and figure out how to do it because it's not used to that. All right, just sort of simple common sense as you're shopping is what's your body know what to do with? Like, what have we been built to know? We know how to deal with plants and um, all that kind of stuff because it's stuff that's not foreign to us, all right? Most of your grocery shopping, make it 80% things that don't have an ingredient list, right? So what's in an apple? An apple. And then your body will know what to do with it. When you make decisions based on that, you're gonna have a tremendous uh, number of benefits. A lot of people like to get like low fat, things like that. Well, a lot of times when you get low fat, a whole lot of crap is put into it that's just chemicals and modifications that yet again, your body has to think, what do I do? How do I handle this? What do I do? Yeah. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know and I could just share, uh, share with you my own advice based on my own fitness journey and I'd be happy to help you out. Okay, take care everyone.